Hello to all my viewers, this is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today I will explain how to run k-means clustering in Nine. k-means clustering is a type of unsupervised learning algorithm used for clustering or grouping similar data points in a data set. The algorithm aims to partition the data into k clusters where each data point belongs to the cluster with the closest mean or centroid based on the distance metric such as Euclidean distance. Let's see how we can do this in Nine. First of all, we will load the data that is an iris data set. I will run, execute it and read the table. So this is the iris data set which consists of the sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. This will be connected with the partitioning node. So we can configure from here. So we will consider 95% or let's keep this as 80% for the training and 20% uh, for testing. Stratification should be done according to the class. Right click on it and execute. Now, we'll activate the k-means uh, node and execute. Again, right click on it and you can have a cluster view from here. So, the cluster zero is formed on the mean of 68.5 sepal length, sepal width 3.13. These are all means. Cluster one is formed on the basis of 5.938, 2.7. So zero is formed on this means. Cluster one is formed on the basis of this mean and cluster two is formed on the basis of this means. Fine. Again, right click on it and you can see the clusters if you want. Yeah, here the clusters are available. The mean is available of all of them. Now we want to assign the cluster to each observation. So I'll activate the cluster assigner, execute, right click on it and assign the data. So you can see that this observation falls in cluster two, this observation falls in cluster zero, this observation falls in cluster one. So this is cluster assigner. Now I'll connect this k-means to the color manager and I execute. First of all, let's say configure. So three colors are there, Iris Setosa, Iris Versicolor and Iris Virginica. And execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the table with colors. So you just go on scrolling it and you will be able to see which are the observations which are there in cluster two, cluster one and cluster three. Again, you can activate the shape, shape manager, configure. What are the shapes which you want? You can have it. So rectangle, cross and triangle, Active. execute, again right click on it and table with shapes, uh, we will activate and then we will activate the scatter plot, right click on it, configure, click execute, again right click on it and view the scatter plot, quite good. So you can see the cluster the red color, the green color, and the black color. Uh, so this is a way you can run k-means clustering in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.